Okay, Jim, I'm ready. Oh, Sorry maybe. about that. I'm glad you could join us. Uh, what were you working on? Well, I was working on a story about Dustin Hoffman, uh -huh. which uh, airs on Wednesday. Wednesday, huh? So you have a whole other day. You weren't really procrastinating. Oh, now, no, not at all. Okay, well, here, let me tell you where we are. <laughs> we're doing this intro to a story on uh, cable access television in the Northwest. Uh -huh. All these really crazy things. Like this on here on the TV. See, yeah. you've got your supermarket flowers and your plain gray set and... Uh, attractive hosts. Yes, and uh, yeah. wonderful lighting. Yeah, it's a little like our show tonight, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. <laughs> well, here's a look behind the scenes at the people who make crazy cable. Right leg, one, two. It's the great media melting pot, where transcendentalism meets transvestitism. You know what I like about hairdressers? What? They always smell good. Where anyone can be a star, but no one gets away without pitching in. Well, this is pretty good. Maybe we should have one here. This is the world of public access television. And these are the people who make it happen. I can do camera, I can direct, I can do audio. Verlaine McClure is Access TV's answer to Steven Spielberg. How many people are going to be in this, in this seance? Five people? If there's a program lighting up the screen on cable channel 29, chances are pretty good Verlaine had something to do with it. I like to know the whole big picture, and, and I like to develop my skills to know everything in the business. C-clamps! Tonight, she's directing a live gay sitcom called Love Laverne. We have like 20 minutes to set up for the show, and we need to make sure this works. We have to haul in all the sets and figure out where the mics are going to go, and we always try to hide the mics. Oh, okay, that'll be good. Love Laverne also has a studio audience, which makes the quick setup that much more complicated, not to mention nerve-wracking. This, by the way, is Laverne. There's a lot of tension, and people are asking us all kinds of questions. <laughs> Hi, oh, hi, Laverne. We don't have time right now. We gotta go. Uh, gotta find Luna, wait, 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 Luna. After this show ends, Verlaine will operate a camera for another program, then maybe help out a little more in the control room. Hey, camera one. Like everyone else here, she does it all for the whopping salary of absolutely nothing. Rolling credits. Good show, everybody. Good show. Welcome to your Cosmic Connection. We're here again live as we are every week to bring you our a metaphysical call-in show. Walt Sklarsky and Carolyn Elaine are husband and wife psychics and hosts of Your Cosmic Connection, one of the most popular live shows or hot studios on public access. The show we do is a non-mainstream metaphysical show and there's just not there's just not that much of it out there. It gave us the, it gave us a chance to really do it and do a, a show the way we wanted to. Programmers get their time slots through a lottery system. They pay nothing for the instant stardom, but they aren't permitted to make any money either. Walt and Carolyn say they're in it for kicks, but having their faces on the screen can't be bad for business either. It's just another vehicle to show the people out there what some of the things are that are available in the metaphysical world. Mead Phillips is also using cable access to spread the word. His bag is something called quantum and spiritual reality. It has something to do with life energy. But what I found is that at the subatomic level, you, you see the same principles that operate in, in spiritual teachings. Now, not every program is based on such lofty subject matter. Obviously, with censorship strictly prohibited, not much else is. T.J. Williamson enjoys working on programs that push the limits, like his new s and Safety Tips show. I find it fascinating, interesting, and it makes for great TV. And 16-year-old producer Greta Rubstein says she first got interested in starting her own music video show after her bus driver, Phil, told her about the program he does, Completely Naked. He's quite popular among the other students, mostly because he's, he goes on naked. That's the reason. So you see, creativity attracts creativity, or whatever this is. Girls, it is time for butt bumps. Yes, look. local cable is everyone's chance to step into the spotlight. But just remember, you may have to set up the spotlight yourself, so bring a change of clothes. We are live. <laughs> a few other programs worth an honorable mention from their title alone, Naked Thoughts, Strange Bedfellows, which happens to be the program that Mimi's enjoying right now. It's pretty good. Yeah and Infectious Waste Theater. Now, if you'd like a complete program schedule, all you have to do is call your local cable operator. Mimi, what's up in Um, We'll be back with more Evening Magazine in just a moment. You really like this? Mm -hmm.